Hey there, if you want to create and manage here yourself into Etsy.com, you're actually in the right place. So let's get started. Actually, you don't have to be worried about uh, if you are not experienced into the selling uh, entertainment stuff. Uh, so let's dig into it. So as you can see, I'm already here into Etsy.com. What I want to do is to create, first of all, uh, and register here for the first time into Etsy with an account. So let's say, for example, I'm going to open a new private window. So the application, the website is no longer seeing me as a customer. So I'm going to get into Etsy. Like if this was the first, the very first time I'm here into Etsy, right? So I'm just going to sign up because this obviously this, this not didn't work, did not work. Uh, I'm going to get into signed in. As you can see here, I have the email address and the passcode. I want to focus on the upper side, which is register. So I'm going to choose this option. And here you have the email, the first and password. This is like the very easiest way to create your account. So e either you can use, um, you just have to fill in here your information and click into register. Now, once you've done that, it's going to be sending you into the shop preferences. So you can start with your shop language, country and your currency. In my case, I want to choose Mexico because this one is the country that appears into my ID. And yes, we have to provide an ID, something that can be uh, showing that we are a legit person and we are going to make and receive because we're going to be receiving payments and we're going to be sending money. So that's the reason why we want to verify that we are a real person and we want to actually have everything successfully done, right? So after you fill uh, here, the shop references is going to be sending you into name your shop. If you don't know how to name your shop, you don't have to be worrying about that. You can go into the more naming tips and it's going to be sending you into an article from Etsy where you can um, here take a look here into the tips for choosing an Etsy shop name. After you had a brief idea, you can always actually you can always change that after you have your account. So you don't have to be worrying about abstract names, suggestive, descriptive names. Um, so I'm going to stick around with here with the Hunt B Studio because I'm not pretty sure why I choose this, but I'm going to just leave it like that just for the purpose of this tutorial. We're going to hit into save and continue. And it's going to be asking you how you'd like to get paid, right? So here into the uh, how you'd like to get paid, as you can see, I'm already outside, but here you have to just provide a, a Visa card, MasterCard, a PayPal account where you can receive your money. So you want to put in here the exact accounts that you want to create. So once you fill all that information, um, I must tell you guys that I needed to add a credit or debit card in order to um, have just a little bit more secure for the uh, the Etsy application that I'm a legit person and I'm going to start making business with them. But you have to be worrying about that because they are not going to be charging you for absolutely anything. You might be seeing that you receive like maybe um, a charge for 10 cents, but then you're going to be refunded that money right away. So you have to be worrying about that. After you hit into continue, you can just be seeing the shop manager as I'm seeing it right now. So as you can see, I have my shop checklist, I have my listings, I have my reaching activity, and I have here the stats overview of my account. So I can see the total views, how many visits I have uh, four hours ago, how many orders, and the revenue. So how much money I've earned in the past, uh, here it says seven days. So if you want to just start here by creating uh, your stuff, by your, your shops, you, you need to go here into the listing options and you have to go into open your shop. Now, in my case, it says that my shop, it's not opened yet because I just closed that. If I choose into reopen shop, what's going to happen? My, um, my, my shop is going to be already opened once again. So I can go into my dashboard. And here I can go back into my listings and I can see here that all my items has been listed uh, successfully. So I'm just going to delete this items just for a second because I'm going to be showing you how that I make this process. And it's actually really, really, really simple to do this. So first of all, now that you have here your account, you want to focus into how you can manage your store, right? So let's say, for example, that I don't have any of these listings. I delete all of those. 
And what I want to do here is to reload the page so you can see that here I have my listings. I don't have any items yet. So you might see something like this into your account as well. So first of all, I would totally suggest you guys to here uh, on the sales channel, go into the edit. And here as you can see, I have a shop, right? So if I want to delete the shop and start from scratch, I can delete that. But actually what I did in here is to put in here, I failed the this layout. And here's gonna be asking you for a big banner, mini banner, none. Uh, I'm gonna choose mini banner, hit into done. If you want to add an image, it's really simple just to create an image. Uh, in my case, I love to use Canva because Canva, it's like a lifesaver. I can use a lot, a lot, a lot of options just to create here a lot of design. So it's totally for free. I'm gonna leave you actually a link down below in the description so you can check it out. The pro version, just in case you want to check it out by yourselves, guys. But let's say I have this um, designs, right? So I can go back here, I can add an image and I can paste that in here and I'm just good to go. Now, if I choose here, I can just edit my, my name my description, the country where I'm currently located, where my store is located. And here I can go into save, which is actually really, really simple, guys. So creating the basic part of the design in your Etsy uh, website, your Etsy merch or your shop, it's really, really easy. Now, if you go into the listing options, which is actually uh, below of dashboard, you can go into add a listing. And here we can add some photos. Here you can add your video and the listing details. So if you want to add, let's say, uh, you don't know what kind of content or product you want to sell, or maybe you do, but you don't know how to use photos. And here, for example, as you can see, it's gonna be suggesting to take a picture like this from different angles, right? So uh, we want to see some details. We want to see this item in use, the size and the scale, the style scene and some variations of your photo of your item of your product actually so after you fill that let's say for example that I want to just use, use this photo right like a digital art so I use this three options and here into the video if I want to use like a process of how I do uh, how I do this product how I feature this I can add that and here into the title you want to add something that's kind of let's say catchy for example um, I don't know, pretty sure you can put it here, digital, printed, uh, t-shirt. So, all information here you can list it as you want to about this listing, who made it, what is it, where did you make it, the category, the description, the tags. It's really important, the tags, because it's going to be helping us to uh, appear into the search of the listings. So, it's really important, the price and all that. So, after you fill that, you go into the publish and you are actually good to go. But if you want to have this item is listed, I'm going to go back here into my sales channel so you can see something really interesting. If you want to have I, if your first uh, listing, you want to pay, you have to pay a very small amount of fee. I'm pretty sure it's almost like uh, 15 or 20 cents per month. And of course, per listing. So if I have a product, I need to pay that uh, monthly. So each time I make a sale, this fee, for example, I have to pay this fee uh, monthly. So that's the reason why I shut down my shop because I was currently using a, another shop from Shopify and I couldn't just manage two shops at a time and I wasn't seeing a lot of sales here into Etsy. But uh, in my case, I think I did a little bit more of times to start here into Etsy. So that's the reason why I stopped here by using Etsy. But if I wasn't using Shopify, if I had a little bit more of time, I could definitely uh, stick around here into Etsy.com. But in my case, I'm selling merch from an artist. So uh, simple, but if you want to stick around here with and see how this Etsy works for you, I can strongly suggest you guys to stick around in here because it's actually really, really simple to use. I will love to uh, see your shopping here into Etsy. So good luck with that guys and I'll see you next time.